So in Godot, there seems to be one way to do 2D behind 3D, and that is to use viewports. Uh, if you've got another way, I'd love to hear it in the comments below. Uh, also check out the description for the too long didn't watch. So you've got your 3D scene, right? Uh, wrong. <laughs> no, uh, it, it's going to have to be a 2D scene now. Okay. So, uh, oh, first, what you're going to want to do is create a new 2D scene. All right. Uh, and then you're going to want to add a texture rectangle. Uh, put whatever you want in there, I guess. Uh, for me, I wanted these strawberries as a background. Okay. So then add another texture rectangle. Uh, I guess you could also just add a sprite whatever uh then you're going to want to add a viewport and uh you're going to want to set the size over here because that matters the size is going to be the same kind of size that you have in your texture rectangles if they don't have the scale uh then you're going to want to have transparent background on and you're going to want to v flip i don't know why but these are just the rules okay so you can actually just like drag and drop your 3D scene that you've got straight into the viewport. And now you have a viewport with your scene that you have. Now it uses the same camera. So whatever your camera is doing is what you're going to see through the viewport rendered out. All right. So now you just need your, uh, your script on this texture rectangle or anywhere else, I guess. Uh, and what you're going to do is constantly update the texture to equal that viewport's texture. Uh, and that's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can imagine you could use this to display, um, just about anything. Um, it's all, it's all pretty standard once you understand it. Uh, I guess you could use it to do some funky things like um, have a security room with a bunch of bunch of viewports on a bunch of different screens to use some like actual viewports. Uh, you can make a puzzle game or something with that. Um, there's probably a bunch of hurdles there about sharing viewports and such. Uh, anyway, enjoy. Uh, there is the other way, of course. Uh, I'm aware that you can just set an orthographic scene and have a plane. That's what I was doing for a while with my game. That I'm working on but um I wanted to do this and most people don't that there doesn't seem to be something out there saying here is how you get a 2d background for your 3d scene so in this case this is the game that I have and I wanted a 2d background <laughs> and that's how you do it um yeah so it's it's pretty simple and um enjoy Till next time.